by visiting our website, ksltv.com slash as you see it. Chris, and join us right now, and last night was a big, big night for that. We it saw was. some earlier in the week. Do you have any idea what it looks like tonight? Well, tonight or I was looking at it. Yeah, it looks pretty weak tonight. Okay. So, you know, the forecasts aren't always accurate, but it doesn't look, look like it's going to be a big night for it tonight. You mm -hmm. could still look out for it. There may be something, but not like what we saw last night. That's not likely at all, but last night was a show. Here's another picture from Tyler Adams of Fairview Lakes. Look how pretty that picture is. And then getting away from the auroras and going back towards the fall color there's still a lot of fall leaves to be seen this is over at mill d north fork thanks to tower tyler howell for sending in uh, this photo you can see the beautiful gold aspens there it's gonna be a beautiful weekend to take a look at the leaves make sure you get it done this weekend or maybe even into the next work week because big weather changes are moving in we're gonna have a lot of wind that's gonna blow away a lot of the leaves and then we have a big cold snap that's also going to make it less fun to get up into the higher elevations by the end of the week. This low pressure system is going to kick things off. It comes in later this weekend. It doesn't really bring much moisture to us. It's going to bring the temperatures down slightly, so it won't be quite as warm as it's been the past couple of days, and then the big drop comes in next Thursday. Satellite radar showing cloud cover spreading in, so we will have a little more cloud cover tonight and for the beginning of tomorrow. So going for partly cloudy skies, these are high clouds, not anything that's going to produce any rain. And and then you can see central and southern Utah overall mostly sunny there. This low continues ahead in our direction on Sunday. We'll have mostly sunny skies. This low is just over Nevada Sunday afternoon, and then it kind of swings through uh, going into early Monday, and that's when our temperatures start to drop a little bit more early next week. But we're still talking highs 10 to 15 degrees above average uh, each day going into the middle part of the work week. This cold front is going to be the game changer. This rolls in early Thursday. So the winds will ramp up Wednesday, likely a breezy day for us ahead of that cold front. The front comes in, it tries to hang on to some moisture as it looks right now to bring in some rain for northern Utah and potentially even some snow for the Uintas, the high Uintas. So we'll watch that closely. Showers could linger into early Friday for our mountains and then that's that front's long gone. And look at this northerly flow coming in. That's going to bring in the chilly air on Friday and that could linger into next weekend. And, and as we talk about the storm door opening up, uh, this is going to allow more systems to come through. We finally get rid of that big ridge of high pressure that's just been blocking everything for us. And so we're going to see cooler weather moving through and potentially better chances for rain and snow. Central Utah, low 80s for tomorrow, partly cloudy. Low 90s, mostly sunny in St. George. 90 in Moab, 80 in Beaver, Cedar City, 82. St. George, you'll have those temperatures sliding down through the week, upper 80s by Wednesday, and then mid 70s by Friday, so dipping below average. Partly cloudy skies down south. No rain in the forecast down south. Low 80s for tomorrow and Logan, low to mid 80s for the Wasatch Front. We're in the 70s for the Wasatch Back. Should be a really pleasant weekend. Again, partly cloudy. Your seven-day forecast for the Wasatch Front. Temperatures stay 10 to 15 degrees above average. Just remember, our average high this time of the year is 67 degrees. Today we hit 88. So this is not normal. We have one more week of it. This could be the last stretch of those 80s. I think it will likely be the last stretch of 80s that we see like this and then yeah. fall is truly here. Finally. Did you see that low Friday morning? 39 degrees? Yeah, saw it. No. <laughs> I'm not ready for that. <laughs> we have like one normal fall day. And we then have like one, and then yeah. it's just like, you know, how Utah uh, style. Yeah. That's yeah. how we always Seriously. do it. We love it. <laughs> Thanks, Kristen. Mm -hmm. All right, more to come first. Here's a look at what's next on Nightly News.